Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you our 2014 NFL Draft Special. We're going inside the war room with the Cincinnati Bengals. We're going to take a look at their team needs to see what players could be possible selections to help fill those needs. But first, let's start off by taking a look at the upcoming picks that they have in this year's draft. The Bengals have nine selections in this year's draft with two picks in the sixth round as well as two in the seventh round. And they're a football team that have drafted very well over the last three seasons. So when I look at where they have to get better, it's mostly depth concerns at certain positions like along the offensive line and at defensive end. I feel like they need to find a tackle so Whitworth can kick back down inside at guard. And losing Michael Johnson via free agency means they must replace what he brought to the table athletically. I also look at their wide receiver position and there's a need for a consistent and dependable number two wideout. Now here are some quick notes to consider when watching this video. Number one, the picks are based off my own rankings of these prospects using my big board. And this is the Bengals portion of my total seven round mock draft. I did one of these mock drafts for all 32 teams. And to view that big board and other mock drafts, visit our website at footballgameplan.com slash draft. In the first round, I have the Bengals selecting Morgan Moses out of Virginia, an excellent tackle prospect that has played well at left tackle as well as at right tackle while in Charlottesville. He's a dancing bear that will allow Andrew Whitworth to kick back down inside the guard and free agent Marshall Newhouse to serve as a swing tackle, helping the Bengals strengthen the edges on that offensive line. I'm a big fan of Marcus Smith out of Louisville. He's an excellent pass rusher that showcases enough athleticism a la Michael Johnson to at times play with his hand off the ground as well as in space. He'd be an ideal choice to replace Johnson at defensive end. In round three, I have the Bengals addressing the safety position with Craig Lawson out of LSU, who's a strong safety with ball skills. And I'm a big fan of George Iloka back there. But as far as Taylor Mays is concerned, they can use an upgrade. And at best, Lawson will give new defensive coordinator Paul Gunther different options to work with on the back end. Staying in the secondary cornerback, Brian Dixon out of Northwest Missouri State played alongside his twin brother Brandon in college, and Brian excels in either press man or zone coverage, and he'll fit perfectly in that bingo secondary. The way my mock draft falls for the Bengals, they get a great pick up here in round five with center Brian Stork out of Florida State. He's an excellent center in picking up the blitz and also recognizing stunts. His football IQ is off the charts, and in my honest opinion, he would come in right away and compete with Trevor Robinson for that starting center job. Quincy Inua out of Nebraska has a great frame at 6'2", 225 pounds, and is a very solid wide receiver. Big fan of his route running skills, and he was having a great week of practice down at the East-West Shrine game this year before being sidelined with a hamstring injury. Inua was a guy that I think could come in and end up being a better pro than he was a collegian. With their second six-round selection, I have the Bengals taking quarterback Dre Joseph out of Southern, who plays a lot like David Garrard, and Joseph got better each and every year in Baton Rouge, protects the football very well, and he led the Jaguars this year to a swag title. Kicking off round seven, I go with depth along the defensive interior with Nathan Ali out of Ball State, and Ali was the most disruptive force up front for the Cardinals and can play either the three-tech or the one-technique inside. Another impressive depth player in the secondary is Quay Cox out of Jackson State, who not only put together an impressive career while at Jackson State, even faring well versus Tulane's Ryan Grant this year, who's an excellent receiving prospect in this year's draft, but also put together an impressive all-star game circuit, playing well in both the Medal of Honor Bowl and also the Senior Bowl. And here's the recap of my Bengals only mock draft. As you can see, out of the nine selections, five of which went to the defensive side of the football, trying to build that depth for new defensive coordinator Paul Gunther. And on the offensive side, I think they addressed some key positions along that offensive line with Morgan Moses out of Virginia and Brian Stork out of Florida State. And I also want to give a huge shout out to Bengals fan forums for always showing football game plan support.